Okay, hello to you friends. Good evening. I got one friend asking me about uh, uh, a Chinese painting. I did uh, a bamboo painting and then this friend asked uh, how did you get this texture? So I decided to make a video and uh, <coughs> to talk about it so that I can have uh, uh, a lot of things to talk about, more than more than uh, uh, write it down. There are just uh, too many aspects. We will do it as I will speak as uh, the ideas come comes up. First, I grind the ink. It comes from water I already soaked. The ink stick for a couple of minutes in relatively cool water, not exactly s uh, icy cold. It's uh, better not to use hot water. If you use hot water in this ink stick, and um, suddenly it get expanded uh, uh, too much, then it's, it cracks or it just uh, not naturally slowly, uh, slowly softens. It's not good. So use cold water or cool water to soak it for a few minutes before you grind it. So just to pour some a, a few drops of water and leave it there, and make sure from time to time you turn it around because this ink stick is dry, and when you when you um, put water, the, e the water will absorb the ink stick. The dryness will start to, to drink the water and then it's stuck there. It's not good. So from time to time to turn around so that it does not get sticky to the, to the bottom. Sticky bottom. <laughs> sticky bottom. So uh, the texture of the ink stroke also depends on the ink. If the ink, you grind the ink in shorter time, then the ink is very liquid, right? And uh, it, is, uh, it is more fluid. Um, it is more easy to flow. But if you grind it for a long time, the ink becomes very thick and uh, viscosity becomes quite... Um, Quite uh, the viscosity is very um, very high and the fluidity is very low. Then it gets uh, gets very um, easy to get that uh, texture. And uh, at the same time, you your hand is not easy to move. Imagine if you swim in a very clear water; it's much easier to to swim, easy to move. But if you swim in the very thick, condensed soup like water, you cannot swim, you cannot move much, right? And uh, this is also about Einstein's relativity, relativity, relativity. So the ether or the media that uh, transfer the wave will, will influence the speed, frequency of the wave. Okay, that's too much. I will come back to the ink, to the ink stick, come back to the painting. So here I have the ink, and we first talk about, uh, we first talk about the paper. The, the texture has, uh, the very first thing, not very first thing, a, a very primary thing that influence our our stroke is the media, is the paper that we paint on. Now I paint on this uh, <coughs> uh, paper towel, so it's quite rough. You can see the texture. Now let me show you. You can see the texture is very rough, right? So when you paint it, it's, uh, it's like uh, 
like little mountains on the on the on the. <clears throat> it's very bumpy, right? Like uh, your Ferrari driving on a bumpy road. So, of course, the, of course, it's not easy to to have a very smooth uh, wheel line. This one will be the protection paper. I in the right thing. So the ink is very thin. So as you go fast and the brush is starting to dry up then you have more of this texture right can you see it you have more of this texture because uh, there's no more ink on the brush you slow down it has some ink if you speed up there's no ink and your brush start to split because it's so dry. So you get this texture. Now, oh, oh, okay. We will save paper. These two papers will be the layer, okay? Will be the protection. The sweet paper will be the protection. <coughs> now I use this one for the, for the, this very dry brush. You can see it is very, very dry, right? Very dry. And I will not put any more ink. I will use the stick. It's just uh, too dry. So the texture, you can see. And also you can see it's a, such a bumpy paper, right? I need to add some ink. Another by the speed of it, you get the texture. By the speed of your hand and by the ink uh, density, viscosity of the ink. Okay, I think I need to keep on grinding the ink. Not in a rush, not in a rush, not in a rush. Sometimes you rush it too much, the ink is not a good quality ink. The ink is just uh, the expression of your character, of your mental states, and of your, <coughs> your spiritual state. If you are in a rush, the ink is in a rush. It comes out not smooth, not not coherent, not um, not comfortable. It's um, it's uh, just very rough. But if you do it slowly and uh, tell yourself it doesn't help to be rushed, and it does not help you to make a better ink if you hurry up and um, you just slowly, calmly grind it, eventually you will make a better ink and you will make yourself a better, a better mental state. Okay, it is, it should be better, but uh, I can still feel that this is not the best yet. Okay, <coughs> there is no best anyway. Okay, we will keep on trying. So one is the viscosity of the ink, one is uh, the texture of uh, the paper you are using. Now we try again. So 
don't waste paper. It's not good to waste paper. Okay, now I try again. See, this one is better, not the best, but if I do it slowly, it is much drier the ink, but if I do it slowly, you out of the range. So, <coughs> and also it, uh, <coughs> another element is, uh, is the brush. Before we come to brush, we work on this paper. So this paper is very smooth. You can see it's very smooth. And the texture it's not easy to get the texture because whenever the ink get it, the paper will take that ink. There is no bumpy road. The road is not bumpy. So it's actually quite hard to paint on smooth paper. Like... Uh, there is no tools on this paper, so it's very hard. But as you get uh, yourself more skilled in painting, you get better at painting. Right? And by the side of the brush, if you do it straight, so there's no texture, right? If you do it sideways, there comes the texture. the speed of your brush. Did you see it? Okay, we come back and talk about the, <coughs> the brush here. This one is an old brush. I think this is my mother's brush. And it must be 40, 30, 30 or 40 years old. I love it because it's my mother's brush. It has a spirit in it. And uh, so it's quite uh, an old brush, and the soft tip here is already used up. So the soft tip here is used up, and it becomes quite stiff, this brush. So the texture comes out uh, much rougher, like you can imagine, right? And if I have a softer hairbrush, 
this one not so soft but it's much longer and slender so it is much easy to 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 move around and still it touches right if you have a stick you lift it 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 is lift but if you have a soft one you lift up your hand still there is some brush touching the ground so let's see how this one works so the texture is so much more different And the next thing is your hand control. The more you practice, the more you understand yourself, right? The more you understand how the paper behave and how your hand behave. I'm talking about the usual situation that your hand can kind of listen to you. I'm not talking about that uh, particular bad day that uh, your hand just decide not to behave. And we are talking about the normal situation. <coughs> so if your hand behave right, you know that this is the time to be soft and this is the time to be choo, choo, right? So you can have a you can manipulate your hand and to get the texture you want. Let's try to draw this on. It's kind of a wasting to use this paper, but uh, let's just do it. See? But the longer hair is relatively hard to control. It's like uh, it's like wearing a high heel shoes, so it's not easy to stand stand comfortable, right? If you wear a flat shoes, it will be so much more comfortable. If you wear uh, this one, like high heel shoes. And this one looks like a ballet flat, so much more comfortable, easy to control so that you can do your movement, your jump, your hand can dance, can move, can jump. And this one, you have to be very, very careful. Oh, 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 not getting, oh, oh. It's, uh, but when you are good at it, this one is so much, more expressive, right? You wear high heel shoes, no, you wear ballet, um, ballet tip shoes, you can dance much more delicate and beautiful movement, more expressive. And you have this ballet flats, it's just uh, comfy, but not that, uh, not that, uh, it's that exaggerating or not that, uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? Not that bad. Okay, let's do some orchid leaves. Orchid <coughs> flower or grass leaf, grass. It's better to use this long hair, but not so long. It's a little bit too long. This is the right size. Something like a new brush like this will be good. Can you see it? This one, yeah. Let's make a comparison of this three. 
uh, are we in the right room? Uh, I think so. This one is a little bit too long. This one should be the right size. This one is a little bit too old, but uh, when you fall in love with one particular brush, you, you like this one, and it has a spirit. This is my mother's brush, so it has a spirit, and it is always the very best of the very best. Heart of all hearts. Okay, let's do an orchid flower. Okay, I will do another one that without this, that has turned too much. It's better you have different ink. I mean, you can soak in some water, but this uh, this paper is a little bit too cheap, I have to say. I have to say. Even those uh, an janitorial supply paper, they are created different. Some paper are more absorbent, some paper are more uh, rough. And uh, it depends on which brand you buy. Now we we'll do another one. Just a little bit too long. Becomes quite hard. So this one has more uh, a movement of the of the, the of the leaf can be very thin, extremely thin and uh, wide, but this one does not have much strength. This one I didn't draw it well, but uh, let's do it. So if you have a too soft brush and your painting just become too soft and there is no strength in it, it's not pretty. You have to have a uh, uh, a combination of strength and uh, fluidity, and uh, a flu uh, 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 combination of strength and uh, and um, strength and uh, softness. Let's do it. Okay. Very, very light ink for this, <coughs> for the flower. Let's see, flower is very light color, right? I use very, very light. You can see it is so light. So you have to be really quick with the brush stroke. So 
coup Orchid. Oh, where is the other orchid? Where did I put it? Ta -ta 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 -ta. Uh -uh. Under, mm -mm. must be under. Where is the other orchid? It's under, under, mm -mm. So, this is roughly about the practice and with the cheapest paper, with the most uncomfortable paper, because this paper, you are the boss. You are not worry about uh, spending much money on, on on paper you have total control you have freedom you do not uh, worry that much oh oh i'm spending oh this piece of paper is ten dollar and if i if i mess it i'm messing ten dollar no this one piece of paper is not that much <coughs> i mean yeah there is something we have to respect but uh, in the other sense you have more freedom in practicing with something not that expensive and also this paper is not uh, um, <coughs> it's not the best quality so it has a lot of limitation one limitation is that uh, uh, <coughs> it absorbs too much so you have to be quick you have to have your movement very smooth and very swift so it uh, Using some poor material, it enhances your skill. If you use the best material, and when you use less than best material, you cannot perform. But if you use secondary material and uh, not good material, and when you use better material, you can only perform better. There is no chance you perform worse, right? Because the paper is already the worst. <laughs> anyway. You have a wonderful, 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 po, 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 day. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do